Welcome back to our channel and in this video I'll show you step by step one of the ways to create a mixed MIDI effect for any of your clips in After Effects. Let's get started. So we are already in After Effects and we've got a clip from a music video. To start we need to cut out our characters using the Roto Brush tool. Select the Roto Brush tool and begin outlining. For a mixed MIDI effect I think you don't need to be super precise. It's actually cool if it looks a bit rough. You can also refine and erase unnecessary areas. We have several scenes in the clip, so make sure to isolate the objects for each scene. This might took some time, but trust me, it's worth it. Once we've cut out the background, pre-compose the lawyer and name it something like Roto, short from Roto Brush. Next, duplicate the lawyer. On the bottom lawyer, apply a few effects. Start with simple choker and set chalk mate to minus 85. Add fill effect and choose white color. Then add rough on edges with these settings. Set border to 37, sharpness to 10 and scale 21. Hold Alt or Option if you're on Mac and click the stopwatch next to Evolution and write this expression. Add another rough on edges, set type to Rusty, border to 100, sharpness to 10 and scale 12. Then apply the drop shadow effect with opacity 80, distance 0 and softness something like 85. For the top lower, add add grain effect. Set viewing mode to final output intensity to 1.8 and size to 0.9. Then apply curves for contrast. Now let's set a background. Double click on the shape and place it below the other lawyers. Use a gradient fill with peach and purple tones, but you're free to choose any color you want. I'll also use two of our projects and they're perfect for creating unique effects like mixed media. We have an exclusive offer today and add both projects to your cart and use the code STICKERS at checkout to get the animated stickers pack absolutely for free. You will find the link in the description. Next, add animated background, duplicate it and pre-compose. Name it like background1. Then add dots, I call it half tones. And add animated frame on top of the lawyers. Duplicate the frame and for the bottom lawyer add the fill effect and set it to black. Scale it slightly so the lower lawyer is visible. Duplicate the frame, pre-compose it and name it frame. Add animated sticker under your characters. Duplicate it on entire this moment and pre-compose it. Name it elements. Add half tones below the element. And for the track mate, choose the element lawyer. Add fill effect and set it to black. Do the same steps for another sticker. On top add crumpled paper and apply the invert effect. Copy the top layer of your roto brush composition and place it above the paper. Name it mask. For the paper layer choose trackmate to use the mask. Duplicate this paper for the rest of the clip. Next add noise paper. Apply the brightness and contrast effect, set brightness to 150 and contrast 100 and duplicate this effect. Set the blending mode to multiply and duplicate this setup for the entire clip. Trim the bottom gradient background, select everything and pre-compose it. Name it Mixed Media. Add scratches paper and duplicate it across the clip. Then apply curves and adjust as shown. Copy this effect and add it to all other paper lawyers. Set the blending mode to screen. Create an adjustment lawyer and apply curves effect for contrast. Add another adjustment lawyer and add posterize time effect. Set the frame rate to 8. Then add transform effect. Hold Alt or Option if you're on Mac. Click on position and try this expression. Back in the mixed media composition, you can now add unique animations. For the part with Liliati at the circle below him, set the color to blue and apply Gaussian blur effect. Set blurness to 145 and make sure to uncheck repeat edges. Add a crown sticker above Liliati, pre-compose it and name it crown. 
position the crown on his head and under it at half tones. Set the track made to the crown lawyer and add the fill effect and set it to black. For the next part, add the shape below the cutout characters. Pick a purple color or any color you like and apply the Gaussian blur effect. Set burnness to 145 and don't forget and check the repeat edges. You can now add any stickers you want along with half tones and set them to black. For this part of the clip, I add three stickers a word and two different elements. Then animate each element to match the camera movement. You can go crazy with mixed media, combine elements, text, shapes, and so on. I kept it simple with just the three stickers. Don't forget to set track made for the half tones to the elements above. For the final touch, create a star shape, place it under the characters and animate it using scale, rotation and position to mimic the camera movement. Apply Gaussian blur effect with blueness at 145 and don't forget uncheck repeat touch pixels. Go back to the main composition, trim the edges for mixed media composition, duplicate the lawyer and create a star shape mask. Place it near a character, apply the drop shadow effect with opacity 80, distance to 0 and softness 85 and animate the position and scale. As you can see, the result looks absolutely amazing. Feel free to experiment with different elements, shapes and text to make it your own. It's really close to the original video from our Instagram. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Don't forget, we have a special offer on our website right now to get free stickers. All the details below the video in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, leave a like and comment what tutorial you would like to see next. See you next time. Good luck.